sure I spotlighted. Okay. Okay. Oh, I also just want to light a stick of incense before we go and I'm really digging this dragon's blood incense as we move into, yes, the end of the month with All Hallow Eve and the Celtic festival of Samhain. Um, this is a magic time of year and especially because we're getting a super long fall and everything. It's just so, so beautiful. But it's also that time of the year where the veils become thin between the worlds and, you know, we just bite in the spiritual side and all of that fun and um, potent stuff. So it's fun to share. Okay. And it's also heating pad season. So I do have my heating pad here just to um, keep the floor a little warm. Okay, I'm gonna start sitting on the floor on the blankets. I'm looking to see, I know it's a little dark, so I may turn the lights on, we'll see how it goes. Just bring yourself into your seat, friends. Like I said we're gonna start with grounding. So let's start by lifting. So we'll just lift the arms up and I'm gonna add a little um, mudra, which is just to fold the fingers in, you take that hitchhiker thumb, and then you can feel free to move it around a little bit, like it's your TV antenna and you see what feels okay. And then we'll keep the arms straight, lift up. Let's just take three breaths here if you wanna turn your face up as if we're just hitchhiking to the universe. And really pulling that thumb, it looks so good. Good, let's take one more big breath. And as you breathe out, you'll open your hands, bring the palms together, maybe over your head or wherever they go. Descend them to your heart, bow your chin, close your eyes. And settle in here. Whatever was happening in your world right before you arrived, just sigh that out. One more moment here. Take a nice big inhale as you lengthen tall. Release this breath completely. We chant Om together three times. Inhale. Oh. your chin, place your hands on your thighs, lift your chin, and open your eyes. Okay, so I am sitting on two blankets, but a little higher than I normally do, and we're just going to start with circling, so you might be more comfortable sitting on something higher, or maybe something under your legs, or whatever you need to do. And just let the hands rest on the knees or the thighs, yes, and then just start to create this circling and you want to close your eyes and just feel slow, stirring the cauldron at the base of the spine. Reversing here and just stirring popped in the opposite direction. Okay. Let's just do maybe two more in this direction and then we'll go one time in the first direction and switch again. Let's do that maybe one more time, that switch. 
and the switch. Good. And then we'll come to just sitting. I'm going to change the cross of the legs. Let's take that mudra again, just because we did it once. And here we feel it. So remember the first time I did this, I mean, well, I think the teacher held it for like two minutes. <laughs> it was very uncomfortable. That is uh, the length of time you're meant to do this, but we're not going to do that. So just opening, being here and this lifting, and then let's just open the hands, but keep the arms lifted, spread your fingers. And we'll take this into a side bend. So we'll inhale and exhale, right arm down, left arm over. And we did this in class the other day, a little bit of circling with the arm. So let's, let's go there. Just open up the side of the body, the shoulder. Good. And if you're going full circle, half circle, maybe we can change the direction here. Move this. The shoulder, its ribs, even the belly, everything kind of moving. Okay. And then we'll just come back upright. Just lift the left arm up. Okay, I'm gonna take the hand behind the head. This might not be comfortable for you. If it's not, you, know, you, you can tuck in a little bit, but try and push the head back, try and open. And as I turn my face to the sky, I get even a bigger opening through the side. Okay, my right hand's on the floor. I, I feel the shoulder rolling in. So you turn the inner elbow out. Okay, and with your hand behind your head now, I'm just gonna floss down. I'll take the elbow to the floor and then reach the elbow up. Okay, modify for yourself and your wealth. All right, let's do one more. And we'll end with the elbow up to the sky. And then we'll reach the arm up to the sky and we'll come back to that mudra with the arms out, thumbs in, hitchhiking to the galaxy, lift up. And you can soften the shoulders down a little bit. We'll take one nice big breath in. And as you breathe out, left hand down, your right arm will come over and start to circle when you're ready. As slow as you like, as small, as big. Good medicine. Good medicine. Yes. Okay, I'm going to reverse the direction. Good. And then whenever you're ready here, I'll just take the arm up and drop the hand behind the head and then just feel that we can open here a little more. Opening through the side body. And then we'll start to move this elbow down to like just pointing to the floor and back up. One last one. I'm going to end with the elbow up to the sky. And then we'll open the arm up to the sky. And we'll just come back last time, hitchhiking to the galaxy and breathe here. Take one more full breath in. Breathe out, stay as you are. Open your hands, wiggle your fingers, or reach up to the sky. Let's bring the palms together all the way down. We're gonna to touch the floor and I'm gonna come into a little bit of, uh, let's go half forward fold. So you're not going super deep. You're just gonna come forward, hands wherever you like and we'll just sway a little bit side to side. Good. Okay, so um, I'm trying to think about an opposite cross of the legs. I can't remember, but Maybe you want to change your cross of your legs. So do that. And then I'm just going to walk the hands over to the right. Again, I'm not in like full deep drop in. I'm just going to stretch the left arm. And then you might, you know, if your forehead rests on your right knee, that's always nice. 
right feel free to explore this so if you want to rock a little bit side to side or whatever feels potent good and then just walk your hands through center and we'll just take it over to the left side i'll sneak in a little leg change here and same thing just reach the right arm get some stretch and then rest or or a floss whatever feels right I love that. It's almost like a choose your own adventure. Remember those books we used to read in the early 80s? <laughs> choose your own adventure. Okay. Good. And we'll just walk the hands back to center. And let's just come up and let's just sit for a moment. I'm just going to turn the palms up. You can close your eyes or drop your gaze down the bridge of your nose. Just take a few breaths in your stillness. Notice. You know, your posture and we're just going to, I'm just going to add in the shoulder step we did the other day. So from here, you just lift your shoulders up towards your ears and we'll just take them back and then see if you can lift your heart. And find your little floating ribs and pull them in and just bask in your own awareness. Take one more breath, side out. Okay, all right, so we are gonna ground, but I do feel like we're just gonna stand for a moment. So I'm gonna start in downward facing dog. Invitation always, if you prefer not to be in downward dog, that's fine. I'll just move the blankets just off. Just take a DFD, and this is your, your DFD, your downward facing dog. So feel free to um, play a little bit. Let's see, maybe you make, make it longer than you normally do, or you step your feet a little wider, feel free to rock front to back, you know, all those good things that we can invite in here. Our first little stretching of the legs. So I'm gonna hang out here for three more breaths. And if you wanna lift a leg or whatever else, do that. Okay, we're turn this into a wide legged, and you're welcome to just step your feet wide. Yeah, take your time. I'm just going to pop my right foot between the hands and then walk the hands around. And so just find, you know, whatever it is. You could just step your feet wide and have your feet off your mat or just step as lovingly as you like. Okay, and then we'll just sway the hips, do a little bit of rocking, maybe knees bend each way. This is Great thing for ankles, as well as your hips, your knees, and all that inner groin stuff. Good. Okay, and then we're going to come just to forward fold and pigeon toe my feet a little bit, and we'll exhale and fold down. So wherever feels good for you. It's the very beginning, very slow, kind. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we're just going to take a few breaths here. Your heads go if you can. And then come back on the hands. And we're come back to downward facing dog. So I'm just gonna walk my hands around to the front, step this right foot back. A little stretch here. And then let's come down for a little child's pose. And knees wide or knees together, yogi's choice. I'm gonna have mine together. And arms stretched out or under your head or back, whatever you like. Feel your breath moving through you and anything else talking to you. One more full breath, side it out. Let's come to sit on the tops of the feet. If this is, you know, it's not for everybody. It's a lot of knee flexion and all of that stuff, but if you're okay here, be here. Breathe, smile. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to grab those two blankets and you can just sit however you like. Well, we're just going to roll the blankets like we do and lie over them. So I'll start with one and I'll fold it a third of the way and then give it a nice little roll. And this one will go lengthwise. Pop the heating pad on the top. And then the other one is going to go um, the opposite way. And I'll give that a roll as well. This one you might do a little bit of a looser roll. You'll see how you feel. So it will just go like we're going to make a little T. Yes. Okay. And then just, so, you know, we do this often. This is, I always say, the best friends for life. This could be best friend for life pose. I'll just lay along it. Oh, and I can, as I come down, I want this cross one to be under the shoulder. So I know I have to bring it down a little bit. You'll just kind of see, okay, shoulders now. You grab that little end, you tuck it under so you have some head support. Maybe you get arm support, your arms over the, you know, I'm Jewish, but arms over the cross is really you know, what I'm feeling here. So you have the, you know, the chest is supported. If it's not quite right, just come up, pull that long blanket lengthwise. And Here's the other thing. If the other, the, the blanket that the T that crosses the T, that's not happy for you at all, just feel free to take it out. Okay. So I say, okay, good. I'm settled. Hopefully you're settled. Okay, guys, before we just whew, really drop in, bend your knees, place your feet on the floor. We're just going to lift the hips and we're just going to sway a little bit with that hip counter. So they don't need to come up super high, just lift the hips and then start to sway a little bit side to side, just to loosen the low back. Just do that a few times. And then you can come back down onto the blanket. See if that changed anything. And then if you want to stretch your legs out here, keep them bent, that's fine. Just take a few moments. This gift of lying and being on the floor. Probably prior to yoga, there was not that many opportunities you took to lie on the floor unless you had back pain or something. It's an incredibly grounding and healing place to be. Let's take three more breaths. Okay, we're going to reach the arm straight up to the sky and then we'll cross the right arm over the left and just let the arms kind of drape over your chest. Maybe we go elbow to elbow or maybe not. You can hug yourself with your hands at the back and then we'll press the elbows into the chest. You might need to tuck your chin a little bit. So I'm going to take the, I'm going to slide the hands to grab the elbows and I'm holding on to my opposite elbows and I'll press the elbows up to the sky and then start to take these arms over your head. As you do that, notice your little floating ribs that might want to pop up and maybe your arms are going to just settle on the floor above your head or nowhere near that. And that's fine. Just maybe add a little pressure of elbows into the hands. Okay, and then I'm going to take the arms over the head, just open them. You know, palms are facing up, fingers are spread. I'm going to add the feet pushing through the heels. And then we'll open the arms back up to the side and just come back to that first resting position. Feel a little more grounded. And then we'll do the opposite side. Just take a nice breath in. Go and then reach your arms up to the sky. Then we'll cross left arm over the right arm this time. You find whatever you need to be here. And press the elbows into the chest. Chin a little bit. Smile a lot. Smiling is my favorite. 
And then slide your hands, find your elbows, and press the elbows up to the ceiling. Right when you do that, you know, you'll feel your ribs, everything kind of tucking in. Now start to take these arms over your head, keep the ribs in, belly in. Wherever you get, you can push the elbows into the hands. Let the jaw go, friends. So one more moment here. And then again, I'll just reach the arms straight out, not on the floor, I'm just reaching, stretching the fingers and add the legs. And then we're going to come off this blanket roll. So I'm going to give you two options. First one is just open your arms, rest for a few moments, roll to your side, come up. Otherwise, we come up in through the crypt. So take the arms up to the ceiling, lift your head, chin to your chest, and let's keep going. Come on up. If it doesn't work, you make it till you make it. And you might never make it. But who cares? We try anyway, right? Okay, good. Let's take this little um, package off the mat and unless you wanna keep one for your head, let's grab your bolster and your block. Let's bring everything, let's do bolster blocks and straps. Um, okay, so guys, we're probably gonna be down here the rest of class. If you wanna put on sweaters or socks, you could do that. Okay. Let's gather all the stuff. All right, I'm gonna start with, um, we're going to start with the strap. Just have that really handy. Then I have my bolster just over to the left side. And that will be a support. Oh, I do need a sweatshirt. Okay. Once you're down, I'm going to start with the left knee into your chest. So the right leg could be bent or straight. Find this for yourself and we'll just rock this knee in and out. This is also like best friend for life. I mean, so much when we do this, massaging the inner organs, it's really good for the back. Okay, I'm just gonna draw this left thigh in, drop the shoulders, drop the jaw. And if I feel you know, sensation in the hip crease. If you've ever had Thai massage, you know, they'll take their hands or their feet and really press into your hip crease here, the front of your thigh, and stop the, I don't know if you can actually stop the flow of blood, but just get things to really compress. And then they let it go. So it's kind of what we're doing here. Take one more breath. And then we'll release the left leg. We're going to take the arms over the head, stretch the legs out. I'd love to feel you know, what you've done in 30 seconds. And then bring the right knee in, change the interlace. And um, again, just starting with the rocking this knee in and out. yourself. And I'm going to bring it in as tight as I can, but not letting the shoulders take anything, the face take anything. It's beautiful breathing. And internal softening. Take a nice big breath in. Release as you breathe out. Maybe arms over your head again. Okay, so the left leg is coming in. I'm going to grab my strap. And start with a good old foot shine. Your foot sole shine. So just place the strap over the foot and you can have your leg straight or bent. Just shine it up. Shine it up. Wake it up. Good. And we'll find that strap on the balls of the feet. I'm going to extend the leg up to the sky. And friends, if it's too much, you bend your right leg. Okay, so I'm just holding the strap. My arms are straight, but the shoulders are settling to the floor. Just 
just gonna grab that buckle so it doesn't hit me in the face at all. Okay, now just let this leg rock front to back a little bit so you can adjust your hands. If it stays bent, it's fine. Let's let the arms be a little more fluid. So I'll just take the arms so they're straight and I'm going to take them over the head as I take the leg. I know, you know we're all going to have our own little degrees of where we go here. Let's so see, adding the arms in some way. Okay, and then we'll take the leg up. I'm going to open the strap wide and we're going to do this sliding the foot through the strap. And I'm not really going into twist, I'm just rocking this leg now the other way. So it goes to the right and to the left. Feel free to let the strap kind of move along the foot, the sole of the foot. Okay. Now we're going to go over to the left. So I'm going to just grab both ends of the strap in the left hand. And I'm going to put the buckle in my hand. Now the bolster is on the left side. I'm going to snuggle it. Right up into the right up against the thigh. So as I open this left leg out to the left, the bolster is there. And maybe your elbow wants to rest on the bolster, the thigh. You know, if it's too deep. Just snuggle that bolster in a little higher towards the top of your outer thigh for support. Okay, so this is it. We're here. The leg is open. You know, sometimes we work it, we put so much action in. You be here. Drop the jaw, drop the shoulders, and just turn the head to the right. And breathe. Okay, whatever you're feeling in your inner thigh, that's what we're looking for. If you don't feel anything in the inner, maybe it's not even inner thigh, you might feel it anywhere along that leg. I'm just going to turn the heel down a little bit on that left leg. And turning the heel down will turn the inner thigh down. Okay. Okay, we're going to release from this into a tree pose. So I'm just going to fold the left knee and bring, you can slip your strap off, bring the foot towards the inner thigh. And it doesn't need to go. Right in, we're not really doing tree pose. We're just doing Baddha Konasana with the left leg. The right leg can stay as it is. You have your bolster there to support the left knee. And we'll just take the arms maybe out to the side or wherever feels good and let the jaw go. Pretend this is Shavasana. So as heavy as you can be. Be. Take one more breath. And then just start to smile, let your eyes open if they're closed, and we'll bring that left knee up. I'm going to drop the strap off. I'm going to keep the bolster where it is. So the left leg is now bent. You're going to bring the right knee in, give a little hug. And we're going to cross right ankle over left knee. I feel like we haven't done this for a long time. Okay, we're going to thread the needle. So left thigh comes in. If you need your strap, you pop it behind the left thigh or take your hands. And let's just find some movement here. So if that's side to side, or if you want to rock it in and out, all are good. You just take a few moments to feel. This pigeon on your back. Okay, so I'm going to start to drop in. So I'm going to take my hands on top of the shin, but don't feel you need to do that. You find your bus stop. You let the jaw drop, the eyes drop. And then just be here. We're here for about another few breaths. Soften your insides anywhere you can. And if you can shift a little bit to the left, you know things get a little darker. you are here, tell yourself, I'm doing the work. Doing the work. Okay. 
and then release. Let the left foot come down. Good. Okay, find your strap. I'm going to put the strap over the right foot. And you can extend the right leg. Let the, keep the bolster where it is. We're just going to go a little opposite. But let's start with the foot. Um, the shoe shine, the soul shines. Sign your shine your foot. <laughs> okay, Joe. You know what I'm trying to say. You got it. And then once we've shined up this sole, we'll find the balls of the feet and we'll just spend a few moments with the leg up or wherever your leg goes. Just holding the strap, arms are straight. We're doing the shoulders drop. Hip drop, everything that I can ground to the floor consciously. And then we're going to start to rock this leg in and out so you can adjust the strap how you're holding it and then just taking this leg forward and back a few times in your own capacity if that's all you can do okay good okay good and then we're going to open we'll take the leg back up open the arms and we'll just move the leg side to side let the strap travel along the sole of your foot. How's your breath? Okay, so from here, guys, we're going to take this leg over to the left. So we're kind of going a little opposite. So I'm going to take both ends of the strap into the left hand and put the buckle in there too. And then take this leg over to the left. And you have your bolster there, maybe you have your blocks. You feel free to roll right onto your left side. The left foot turns, and then maybe you open the left arm out and move it to twist here. You just kind of see if it's too much, then just let your right hand rest on your right thigh. You can massage. Okay, and if wherever you are, maybe you've got a little arch in the low back. And that's the same action when I say, like, take that hip and press it to the wall or press it to the end of your mat. But if you add a little bit of the lower back curve, or like pushing your tush out, another way to say it, then we get that same action of this hip opening. If that doesn't make any sense in your practice, you just, you're doing the work. You're doing the work. Let's take one more breath. And then I'm going to turn the head. Bring your right arm all the way over to the left side. Let's come to the side first. And then you'll just come back onto your back with the right leg. Let's hang out here for a moment or two. Just hold your strap. Come back to the very first part with the leg lifted. Just holding it. I'm going to start to open the back of the knee if I can. Press through the heel, press the right side of the wall. Notice your right foot. You make your heel disappear. Okay. All right. Let's release this right leg and we'll just let both legs come down to the floor for a moment. I'm just gathering my strap, putting it on my tummy. And we'll just take a little pseudo shavasana just to feel. How grounded you feel and anything else, prana, the energy. Okay, so I'm going to take the bolster, just roll it over the body to the right side. Okay, if you use blocks or anything else, you take that too. And then we'll just, okay, I'm going to bring this bolster right to the right hip. So it's right snuggled right against the leg. And then we'll take the right leg up again. And we've done all that other stretching work. So we're going to go right to the open. So I'll take both ends of the strap into the right hand. I'm going to use a buckle. Take this right leg out. Use the bolster. Use your elbow. You might want to even put you know, the elbow on the bolster or the block. Let's see here. You can wind your hand in the strap if you like. Just find that place where you can almost let yourself melt in the shape. And 
And then we'll turn the head to the left. And just rest. the head back and lift the leg and we're just going to change legs i'll just slip the left foot in take the right leg out and we're going to go for twists so you have your bolster maybe you want to move it away from the thigh a little bit so both ends of the strap in the right hand still and as you exhale come all the way over and you might go right to the right side take a moment to adjust do whatever you need to do and then open to the twist if that's there for you. Okay, so adjust, adjust so that you can smile and breathe. And I'm gonna add a little curve in the low back. Almost like I'm bringing the sacrum in. Tush just naturally will go out that right there. We breathe, we enjoy. Just come out, I'm just gonna bring my left arm all the way to the right side. And from the right side now, I'm gonna roll onto my back. Well, let's take um, both feet into the strap and I'm just gonna open the legs out. Hold the ends of the strap. You might wind your hands in your strap. It's gonna let the, as if the legs want to drop away. So the arms are straight and hanging and can make this not as wide if you like. Good, okay. Just gonna start to gently rock this little package. Just think of this as driving a bus. So this is a big bus wheel. And then we'll start to one leg forward and the other leg back, like this is your big steering wheel. My first car was a Datsun 510 and it had a huge steering wheel, huge, <laughs> this little car. Yeah, probably think about your own first car. Funny. Good, okay, then I'm just gonna take Rest here, so just let the legs drop away. Good. All right, slide your feet together. And place the left foot on the floor, take the right foot to the floor, set your strap aside, and we're gonna to come to this tree pose with the right knee just dropping against the bolster and the left leg extended. So my foot and leg are not touching more, I say tree pose, shape, but we're in the Baddha Konasana, half Baddha Konasana. Let's see here. Melt yourself in as much as you can. So if you close your eyes, let the jaw go. As soon as you let the jaw go, the hips will relax. Soften the shoulders if you can, anything you're holding. Okay. Nice big breath in. Sigh it out. Okay. Then you can use your hand if you want to help. Bring the right knee up, then the left leg. Uh, let's bring the left knee all the way in. We're going to go to um, thread the needle on this side. So we'll cross the left ankle over the right knee and pause for a moment, feel. And then bring that right thigh in, change the interlace. Use your strap or your hands, and then we'll just start with the rocking, either side to side, or front to back, or both. <laughs> just to 
your time. Lying on the floor, doing this work. Work worth doing. Not everybody does it, so acknowledge what you're doing. Rest into your shape, your pose. Notice any gripping in the eyes, the jaw, the shoulders. If you want to shift this a little bit to the right and find new places to open, to be aware of, to notice. Oh, hello, I didn't know you were there. I feel you. Kiasa Yenga wrote um, a book called Light on Life and talks about how yoga doesn't cause the pain. The pain is there. We're just uncovering it, bringing things that have gone to sleep back to life. Right. And then we'll just release this and set your feet on the floor. Let's do a little windshield wiper so you can open your arms out to the side if you like. And Rock this. Okay. Our next pose will be full body kanasana. And you're welcome to, I'm going to use my bolster and just slide the bolster between hips and heels. And we did this in one of our classes this week. Soles of the feet together and knees open. You can walk your feet away from the bolster if that's better. You know, if you are very, if you can bring your heels right to your groins, you might even bring the feet onto the bolster. So, you know, that's not for everyone. Find your place here. Let's take a few breaths and it's opening. I'm going to take my hands and just rest them on the inner thighs. Even just for a few moments. You might even take them up to your hip creases and you can give that a little massage just around the hip bone. Hold the hip creases with your hands. Let the heat from your hands move in. Bring your finger. So we're here for about another five breaths. Just really want you to let go here. So let the pose, the shape, do the work of the opening the pelvic floor, opening the little belly. Softening the shoulders down, jaw, eyes. Just feel your breath. Three more breaths, friends, and just soften the whole, like, all the way to the perineum. Just soften everything you can so that the breath can really open this space. Good. All right. So then I'll use the hands to just help to lift the thighs up. I'm going to bring the thighs into the chest. And Interlace my fingers over the shins or the tops of the knees here. A little flexion in the feet and just be in this you know, child's pose on your back pose. You can always throw your strap over your legs too, if that's better. And in this tightness, but softening the shoulders, softening the jaw. So you might find the more you soften, the more the knees and thighs move closer in. Notice if your chin's poking up, take it in. It's not super crunchy here, but definitely tight. Err. Okay, so before we come out of this, I'm just going to take the hands 
and bring them down about mid chin and just draw these knees in. And you might go in and out if you like, or just draw them in. Good. All right, release. And we have that bolster there. I'm just gonna stretch your legs straight. They can be a little bit farther apart. Let your feet just open, arms wherever you like, out to the side or resting on your tummy. And then let's take some exaggerated breathing into the belly. So just nothing super quick, but a nice big inhale. And open like you're a big balloon. And then deflate your balloon. Let's do that a few times. Inhaling, expanding the whole belly. Release there, just one more. Release there. Okay. okay, great. So I'm gonna just grab the block. Now, if you wanna use the bolster under your sacrum, that's quite fine too. I'm just gonna kick the bolster out of the way for a moment and with the block under the sacrum, the lowest height, medium height, highest height, whatever you like. And you know, just because you always do one height, you're always highest height, maybe today, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna maybe not do highest height. And just take a few moments. But if you're like, oh, highest height is my jam, that's all fine. So this is our upside down. Whatever height you're on, you have your hips either in line with your heart or higher than your heart. Breath. Okay. And before we play here, let the shoulders really drop, head drop. Okay, I take my hands and just hold on to the block. And then we'll bring maybe one leg up in the air and maybe both. And you decide what you want to do one at a time or both. So I'm going to take the left leg and just extend it out. It might hit the floor and it might not. I'm just going to press out through the heels. Then the switch legs. Very nice and slow, mindful. And just open through the legs here. So take both legs back up and now I'm just gonna open them wide or however wide they go. No extension in the shoulders, let it go. Okay. You bring your legs down to the floor. Just take two breaths on the block. And then coming off block and just come all the way down, heel grounded. Okay, so I'm gonna to come to windshield wiper, but I'm gonna do it with the right knee over the right angle over the left knee. So we have again, you know, this thread the needle shape. You have your bolster, you can use it. And you can also just do regular windshield wiper. And just start to rock this little, Package side to side. Okay, I'm going, to just, I'm going to do one more on each side and then let the right leg, I'm keeping it intact, but I'm dropping over to the right side. And if you need to pop that right foot off the left knee, do that. Otherwise, maybe you walk the left foot more to the left. So it kind of changes things a little bit. And then I'm using that foot on the Outer left thigh, just ground that. That's too much for your knee, guys. Do less. I'm gonna take the arms over the head. <clears throat> the right hand is gonna catch hold of the left wrist. Just pull open here, all the way through the left side.
Okay. We're going to just take the arms out to the side first. Bring the package of your legs up. Release the cross. Maybe you want to lift your hips up, do a little hip hammock sway for a few moments, just to shake it out. And then move to the second side. So if you need bolster, whatever you need, move it over. Left ankle over right knee. And then just starting with this side to side swaying action. Letting this left knee, everything drop over to the left. Maybe the right foot walks to the right. And then you melt into this, or you say, no, it's not for me today. And then just pop that left foot off. Okay. Okay. Arms over your head. And the left hand catches the right wrist. And you give a little pull. We extend ourselves through the right side a little more. Okay, so if you have any pain in your knee, or you can try moving the foot into a more supportive place and pressing the knee and the left um, ankle against each other, or just pop that foot off. Okay, all right, and release, bring yourself back into neutral. So we're at that place, guys, we're going to move into Shavasana, but it's always nice to just take them on and go, oh, okay, do I need to hug my knees in, more windshield wiper, maybe I want to open the knees apart, take the hands and just hold the shins, do a little bit of this little back release, so this is what I'm going to do, but if you feel like, oh, no, I need this, I need it, whatever it is, feel in. It's a potent question. What do I need right now? We're so used to what do you need right now? But you ask yourself, what do I need right now? Okay. Nice. And then we'll move into Shavasana. So, however you like to do your Shavasana, you're going to set yourself up really nicely. You honor the work you've done and honor this time of, of you, your time. Rest together in our own spaces. We will support ourselves in this kind of doing nothing and I can say pretty much all of us I'm pretty sure everybody who's here we're all raised in the doing you gotta do you gotta be busy and rest kind of the value of rest is not as important as maybe we see it to be now Deep surrendering. Absorbing all the work you've done. Investment in your health, your wellness. Shavasana.
Feeling yourself in the place you're still holding tension. Envisioning yourself resting in your space as you are. Telling yourself you're doing good work right now. Feeling the flow of your breath. Inviting your breath to gently begin to deepen. Like so much water within you. It's moving through you. Out of your head. To the soles of your feet. Breath will let you know when it's time to start to move yourself. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, your ankles, your wrists. Stretching long if that feels good. Bending your knees and perhaps even hugging the knee for a few moments. to your side and let's take maybe two breaths here. This is that liminal space. Not quite awake, not quite in rest mode. You know, I'm seated. That's where you're going. Once you get here, guys, if you want to turn on your gallery view. Bask in your energetic egg that you have created for yourself. This, it's like a healing space. You feel into the shift of energy, shift of how I'm feeling. And said at the beginning, this would be a very grounding practice. So we tune into that energy. You feel more grounded. Once you're ready, friends, take an inhale. I'm going to reach my arms up again as we did that little mudra. And just take maybe just two or three breaths here. Once you're ready, bring your hands to the heart. Bow your chin. Honoring all that you are and all that you bring and all that you offer. For yourself and for those in your life. And on the next inhale, we'll lengthen nice and tall. And exhale this breath and join together in our May we be blessed mantra. Inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy and may we be happy. One ohm, inhale. Oh. Take a full breath in. Breathe into your hands. Lift your breath, lift your chin, open your eyes. Offer this to yourself and then to each other. Bring it home. Puppies, people, your kitties. <laughs> so, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Full moon blessings, everybody. And just before you sign off, I just have one little housekeeping. And I'll just um, stop recording. Okay.